Almighty Allah. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank Him for uncountable favors on us. Uncountable. Of course, among the election that has just come to an end for the presidential election, the National Assemblies, Senate, and House of Assembly, peacefully in most part of the country. We must thank Allah for this because there is anxiety, there is fear. People are thinking there will be crisis. Election in Nigeria has never taken this dimension. Religiosity. Where everybody has taken position. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. In fact, some went beyond that. Utterances that is, is inciting not only from the youth, but from the high level of stakeholders, those who are supposed to respect their honor and dignity. Unfortunately, a number of them were inciting the nation during the election and even after the election. It's very unfortunate. And when you count them, you will see from what direction they came from. It's very sad. We must thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making it peaceful. Very peaceful. In fact, the most peaceful, the most credible, the most fair election ever by those who are experts, not those who are corrupt minded, and those who do not want a way forward for the nation. Of course, you must appreciate the cashless society with all the pain we have gone into. It assisted in making the election to be free from much of corruptions, money corruption. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the calculations that have made the election to be free and fair. And we thank him also for answering our dua because we are divided. Nigerian Muslims in this election were very divided, very obvious. And that's why people laugh at us. That where are you going when you are divided? You are divided not into only to two, not only to three. And that means your vote should go to different directions. In our neighbors, their direction is one. Those in the south, those in the north, those in everywhere. It's a collaboration. What Allah has commanded to do, commanded us to do, what testimony will be happening Jamia. It's practiced by all us. But with all these shortcomings, with all this not abiding, Allah sees the heart of few committed and he accepted our prayers and he gave us the victory. And the victory is for all Nigerians. Already we know that power belongs to Allah. Allah gives power to whom he wish. That's why we thank him for his uncountable favors. We must appreciate the INEC, chair, and all those who are with him, regardless of their religion. You must thank also the armed forces, the police, DSS, all those who are in charge of security, they must be appreciated. They have done wonderfully beautiful. Of course, the media cannot be left unmentioned. All Nigerians that mean good for Nigeria have assisted in making the whole program to be successful. Allah says he gives power to whom he wish. He denies whom he wish. All goodness are with Allah's one. He uplifts. He honors whom he wish. Everything belongs to him. The whole control is in his hand. We thank him. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who are successful in the last election, particularly the Muslims, let them humble themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and not only to be happy, but to see their new position as a big challenge in a nation of 200 million and above, which Allah is going to ask them of their role after giving them the position. So it's not a position of just happy and joy, but a position of thinking and getting ready to face the challenges in reforming this nation of ours. To the president-elect, in the speech, it's a wonderful one, and especially the area where he called for inclusive government by extending his hand to the opponents to come and support his leadership so that this nation will continue to develop. That is wonderful. That is Islamic. When you are a leader, everybody under you is your own. The era of party has finished. It is the era of working for Nigerians. That must be appreciated. And we pray that will continue, not only in speech, but in action. Allah is going to ask them of the amana, the trust given to them. It's going to be very dangerous for them on the day of Kiyama when they did not discharge the responsibility on them. Again, we must call our brothers and sisters across the states to come out in mass for the election of the governors in House of Assemblies is very, very important. Very, very important. Everybody should participate from where he is by contributing. Because it is when you come out and vote that you indicate your interest on the most responsible person. But when you refuse to come, you come and vote and then you do the act. And then you do the act. Let us come, let us inform. Of course, Abuja uh, election has ended. But for those who are in the state, we should not be silent. We should take the matter very, very serious. Because matter of leadership is a serious matter. It decides so many things in your life, whether you like it or no. And that's why Islam respects leadership and commanded obedience to leaders because their role in reforming the nation or their role in corrupting the nation lies in their hand after Allah has given them the power. We should not forget dua, which we have been doing. Dua is key. It's key in the life of Muslim. Allah said, if they ask you of me, tell them I'm very, very close to them. I answer their dua, their supplications. So we should intensify dua. Don't underrate your dua. And of course, Allah mentioned two conditions. We should abide with those conditions, they are key. We should answer the call of Allah by abiding with the rules and regulations. The do's and the don'ts. Today, if you see what the Ummah is doing of grievous offenses, you know there will be no peace if not because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful on us. Let them answer my call. What you mean will be. Let them intensify concretize, make solid their belief and creed in me. Don't have a shaking iman. Make your iman solid in your belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are among the factors that make your dua to be effective. To be effective. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to give us peace in this nation, Nigeria, and all other nations of the world. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا أذاب النار اللهم أنزل الإسلام والمسلمين ودمر أداءنا أداءك أداء الدين اللهم عليك بالكفر والفجر والفسق الذين يكيلون الإسلام كيدا اللهم عليك بهم فإنهم لا يجزونك اللهم ولي علينا خيارنا ولا تولي علينا شرارنا اللهم ولي علينا خيارنا ولا تولي علينا شرارنا اللهم ولي علينا خيارنا ولا تولي علينا شرارنا ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا 
وتوفنا مع الأبرار إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد